It's giving Chewbacca right now, but once I style it, don't worry. <laughs> gentlemen and everybody in between I'm back with somebody else's hair and guess what it is wine and wigs day oh <laughs> grab a glass clink 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 mmm why does that look like sewer water do you see this scalp that I done stole from somebody it is so cute I can't wait to go ahead and get into this wig but first if you like and subscribe and hit the post notification bell just so you can see every single time I post because I'm coming to you every single week with brand new scalpionas, brand new follicles. This is a kinky, straight, highlighted wig. When I tell you that this is the type of wig I've been looking for all of my life, girl, I've been searching the tundra for this wig and here she is. Let me quit carrying on and let's go ahead and get into this unit. I wanna say thank you to Sumber Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. I would like to say happy birthday to them because it is their fifth anniversary. So happy birthday, Sumber. They got a nice coupon code for you girls to celebrate. Now let's go ahead and move into the details of this wig. This wig is a 13 by four lace frontal kinky straight wig it is in the color tl412 which is a blonde highlight wig and this wig is 24 inches long when you pull the wig out of the box you can see that the wig is slightly pre-plucked like the hairline is kind of thick i haven't plucked this hairline i plucked the baby hairs but i haven't plucked the hairline so it's slightly pre-plucked not too much and the knots are not bleached but the knots are the same color as this hair so you really don't need to bleach the knots unless you're doing too much. And I, hey, my name is Mira, I do too much. If you pop the hood on this wig, this wig has three combs, adjustable straps in the back, and it comes with a piano key elastic band for the glueless girlies. I'm not one of y'all, but shout out to you. So now we're gonna go ahead and get into applying this wig. If you wanna see everything I did to style this unit, please keep on watching. And I'll be back at the very end with my final thoughts and a coupon code. Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and get started with applying the wig but take the wig grip first y'all know we don't do the ball cap method here i say that every single time because I, I gotta let the girls know i'm a two-step sort of girl put on the wig grip first and then i'm gonna take a wig cap and plop it over top and then we're done we're done i feel like a little cabbage patch doll sometimes <laughs> my hair no so here is the wig it looks absolutely Go, like and I'm gonna show you what the knots look like after bleaching because although I didn't need to bleach the knots on this wig because the knots are the same color as the hair it just elevates the wig you know what I'm saying it takes it up a couple levels yes 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 yes, yes. no it's <laughs> That's what the knots look like. They're really, really blonde now. Be careful when you do that, because basically, girl, you 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 will you get bald spots in your wig. But I'm gonna go ahead and tint the lace first. That's gonna darken up the roots a little bit, anyway. So, what did I do that for? I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my lace tint. This is the Kellen Derrick lace tint spray in the color medium brown there are better lace tints out there i just don't know where they are so y'all gotta let me know i'm also going to use a makeup brush i'm gonna spray it onto the brush and dust it onto the lace really easy and simple this is how i spray it onto the brush this gets real this stuff is messy so you have to be careful like i just spray it like that oh every single time Girl, I drink lace tint all the time. I'm gonna take my wig and I'm gonna turn it inside out so I can start applying the color to the lace. And I usually like to start in the front because that's where I want most of the color to deposit. And I'll just work my way around and just do large circles, you see? Yes. And once I get it all over this side, I turn it over and I do it right in front of the hairline as well, but I wonder if I should do that with this one. Oh, the brutes are light, so it should be fine. So I'm gonna take on the other side, I'm just gonna go in towards the hairline. Okay, so the lace tint is added. Hopefully that is enough. Oh my God, it's a mess. 
after the lace tint is added, we need to go ahead and dry the lace tint or set the color into the lace tint. I like to take my Dyson blow dryer with the diffuser and I like to blow dry it on high, on high and medium heat and that'll get the color set in. Now let's go ahead and pop her back on and see the way it looks like it's blending into my skin now. Like it looks good. It's giving Chewbacca right now, but once I style it, don't worry. <laughs> we could go ahead and get into flattening our hairline. Y'all already know that's one of my favorite parts. And when I flatten my hairline, I mean, I feel like this wig could actually take a pluckation, but who got time for plucking? I don't. So what I wanna do is flat iron it and see what it looks like. And if it needs plucking, I'll do it. But if not, girl, we gonna rock it the way it is. So first, in order to flatten the hairline, I like to do it in two steps. I'm gonna use my Dyson flyaway attachment to pre-flatten the hairline before we get into hot combing it. I'm just going to use the flyaway attachment on high. Now this thing gets really hot, but I'm telling you it gets great results. But let's go ahead and pull it forward and see what she, hmm. Get away with not plucking it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to see what I can get away with. Let me try one more thing. I'm gonna flat iron the hairline using my hot comb. Let me pull it out of my luggage because we're gonna use our Andis hot comb to flatten the hairline. But first, while that heats up, I need to get my wax stick going because the wax stick adds the moment. She is the moment. So I'm gonna use my ZLA Hairline Master Wax Stick. I've had this for years and it still is everything. And I just add it all over, all over the hairline. Yeah, I'm gonna do a middle part because I haven't done a middle part in a long time, but is it really a middle part? Because I don't know how to make middle parts happen. Hmm. But either way, I'm gonna pull this wig back and I'm gonna take my hot comb and we're just gonna get to it. Now, y'all may see smoke, don't be alarmed, okay? So I take the hot comb and I flatten it backwards. But not only do I flatten it backwards, but I kinda go towards the center, like the middle part. I kinda lift the hairline up because I want it to go straight, straight back. It just looks better like that. Now I'm flat ironing over the wig grip because I don't play those reindeer forehead games. Shout out to Christmas. Okay, you see that? Oh, it do look good. It's a little thickums. We just gonna move on. I want y'all to be able to work with what you got. So I'm gonna go on this side. And Flat iron backwards, and I'm gonna really get in there. Okay, let's see if we can flatten the... I just wanna get to this middle part. Cause then maybe I can see it better. And then once I do that, I like to go back in and reinforce the hairline because I obviously kinda messed it up just a little bit. Flip up the lace, bride style. Ooh. I like to cut off my lace using just regular shears. These are old. They're probably like kindergarten scissors, but I'm still gonna use them. Now I just need to cut this lace. I'm gonna cut all the way down the center, and then I'm gonna follow the hairline, if I can. This hairline is different. She got a little bit of a widow's peak. We love a widow's peak baddie over here. Y'all know what it is here. <laughs> so I'm just gonna. Oh, oh, can I even see all oh, the lace? Girl, this is where it starts to get tricky. Where's the hairline? I'm trying to find this hairline, girl. I, I don't know where it is. I think I just chopped into some hair. Oh God, I can't see. Oh, thank God, it's the ear tab right here. Oh, thank God. Oh, saved by the ear tab. Cause I was about to, baby, I was scared. But y'all see where it stops? Stops right here. Oh wow, we're saving it. <laughs> this is nice. Okay, so let's do this side. 
I am going to use the same any shears on this side and I'd like to start on the ear tab on this side. Maybe because I'm right handed when I use scissors. I like to start at the ear tab. I don't know. That's just my habit. And I cut zigzag all the way till I get to the top. In order to apply my wig, you already know, I love to use the Even Wonder Lace Bond spray. This is one of my favorite sprays. She travels with me. She is, we bond. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to my forehead and we're just gonna stick it to a girl. It's, it's, it's self-explanatory at this point. Sometimes I wish wigs were like press on nails and you could just put it on the lace and stick it, girl, but you end up with a mess. These wigs are press on. It's a press on wig. <laughs> I'm just gonna apply. Now I think I think it's tacky enough now. I hope. Yeah, I hope, girl. We add it too early, <laughs> you gotta mess on your hands. Add it too late, you gotta start all the way back over. So I'm just gonna add it now and hope for the best, right? Right. Oh no, the lace tint is coming up on this side. Oh <gasps> no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, girls, chaos and confusion on the lace. Oh my God. Okay, pull it taut, tight. Taut. I think that side's good. This side is, um, she want to get suspended. She really doing a lot. Now you can definitely wear this wig glueless, but I'm not a glueless girl because my head is too small. When I have a small head, I have to, because I have a small head, I have to lay my wigs down or else it's gonna look like Halloween and I came out with a floating scalp. Okay, so I'm just gonna use the rat tail end of a comb to lay down the hairline. I think I think I did it. <laughs> this is always touch and go for me. I put on, is this even centered? It's a little cattywampus, but it's okay. <laughs> I think it's how I applied it. I apply, I apply one side further back than the other, but in the grand scheme of things, will you be able to tell now? Now, and if you can, I mean, don't we all have uneven foreheads? I mean, what are we talking about? So we've melted down the hairline. Mm -hmm. It's giving etch sketch. <laughs> I'm still gonna go ahead and do the baby hairs. You already know how I love a good baby hair moment. Tug test. She ain't going nowhere. Tug it if you want to. See what happens to you. Nothing, because I can't fight. Take a little section. And this is where I will plug. Ooh, where are my tweezers? Oh, I think they're in that drawer. Okay, so I like to take a section out. And since I didn't pluck the hairline, the baby hairs are gonna be thickums. They are. And now we just need to pluck her a little bit. Actually, let me pull this hair back just to make sure. So I'm going to take my tweezers and I'm just going to go in and pull out some of these hairs. I usually pluck a good amount out because I want them to be short and small. Yay. Oh, that's so much better. Y'all see it? You see it. And what I'm going to do. Oh, it's probably put on some chapstick because my lips. It's a flaky. Okay, I'm gonna cut this down. Like so. Oh, why am I cutting it like this? Girl, what's going on with me? I'm gonna take a baby hair brush and some got to be glue gel and we're just gonna lay down the baby hairs. The reason why I like using got to be glue gel and not a mousse is because it will lift with water. So this is like a more gel base. So it'll keep my wig down and not have my wig lifting as I apply them. All the work I did will be over. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stretch it out and flip it on back, like so. Okay, some of these hairs are long still and they coming, trying to come to the party, girl, I didn't even invite you. There you go. And I like to go like right behind the baby hairs Cause I'm swooping all this down and back, but I like to go behind the baby hairs and just 
flatten it a bit. It's very flat. You see how that looks? The meltation is melting, okay? I'm just gonna go ahead and take I don't even think that lace is all the way down. Ooh, well, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully the ear tabs will help because I'm not, oh yeah, y'all see that? Dang it. Ear tabs were our scam. <laughs> they give me scam vibes, okay? Like why, why? So I'm just gonna cut it short. Actually, let me pull this back like so, so it's out of the way. I'm just gonna cut it down. Lady. I'm gonna take my baby hair brush once again and we're gonna lay down these baby hairs. That's a kinda long baby hair. I don't want them that long, but I kinda like how they look. I don't like them long. So I'm gonna cut it. Yeah, it just gives like earlobe bangs. Like I, I don't want an earlobe bang. <laughs> there we go. Y'all see that little ear tab? It's so cute, so small, so natural looking, and we love it. So this side is complete. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. Y'all see the difference? Which side would you bring on a date? Now we're gonna do the same thing to this side. After we do that, we're gonna melt the hairline and then we're going to blow dry and style the hair. Okay? Okay. Okay, so we've already melted down the hairline. Now we get to blow dry the hair out. Y'all see all this hair? Let me pull this up, cause the blow. But first, I do wanna trim the bottom. The ends aren't actually bad at all. I wonder if I wanna trim it. Do I wanna trim it? Just a little trim. <laughs> Not my pink shorts. I usually do better than this, but my shorts is pink. What do you want me to do? <laughs> so I'm just gonna cut straight across, boom. I'm just gonna trim. this section and then we'll be ready to go when i'm trimming i'm still just gonna cut like at an angle just to get those ends off this hair is like super like it's crazy soft like crazy soft i'm just gonna trim that down so next, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my Revlon One Step Blow Dryer and we're gonna blow dry this hair straight. Now, I wish I had heat protectant spray so I can be a responsible wig reviewer, but I don't. So we're gonna test this wig to the limits, girl. Zero to 60, how fast can you go? But actually, I need to do it in four sections because this hair is so, I wouldn't say thick, it's just like dense that in order for me to get to the hairs like I would like to, I need to really get in there, like swimwear, you know what I mean? I'm just gonna take my blow dryer, turn it on high.
Girl, it look like a cigar shop in here. It is smoky. Wow. The hair has been blow dried and it blow dried very well, but I think I had burnt it a little bit. You already know. We're gonna use a cheese spinning curl to curl this hair. I love using this thing. We're gonna curl it. If you know anything about the cheese spinning curl, it is an automatic curler. So you can curl your hair in two directions, front or back with these two buttons, and you can choose your hold time, how long the curl is gonna hold for. I always choose 19 seconds because the hotter the hair, the better the curl. And then I'm gonna use, where's my spray? This hair uh, blow dry very well though. Where's the spray? I like to use my Pantene air spray. This is the number three brushable flexible hold. Smells amazing. It gives very much salon vibes. So meantime, I'm just gonna go into the roots real quick and make sure I flatten this part so it's not so hyped up at the roots. I'm gonna take my Andis hot comb and I'm gonna go in like so like D. You know, like these. I don't even think this is all the way hot yet. So, wow, this room is really smoky. Okay, so I'm just going in and taking the hot comb and flattening the root area so we get rid of that humpty dump look. I'll be sick of doing this. If it don't flatten, girl, it don't flatten. I'm okay with it. Like, did that flatten? I don't think it did. I think I'm just playing games, reindeer games. Ooh, it's not even all the way hot, but girl, I ain't got patience with this. <laughs> At this point, I'm ready to curl it. I think that's good enough. <laughs> I didn't even do nothing, child. I'm just gonna go ahead and section the hair away. We're gonna do this side like this, and we're gonna work on this side. This is a lot of hair, child. Oh my goodness. The cheese spinning curl, you only can work in small sections. Girl, try a big section if, you want, section if you want to. It'll start screaming, hollering at you. I wonder if this is too much hair. I feel like it is, but I'm gonna do it anyways because I'm hard at it. Oh, is it not on? Girl. Okay, let's curl. Okay, I get it. I'm gonna have to use, I already know when it's gonna, I had to use a smaller section. I already knew that. I was just being lazy. Okay, now let's go. And I like to curl away from Z face. So we're gonna hold it for 20 seconds, but well, 19 seconds, but I like to add a little extra 19 seconds. So usually I'll restart the clock by re-spinning it. So I will hold it for mostly 25 seconds. Baby, it's way too smoky in here. Do I need to? When you pull it out, this curl is gonna be hot, smoky, and what I like to do is take my air spray and spray the curl a little bit. Give her a little, ooh, one, two. Sometimes I'll spray every curl and sometimes I'll spray like every three or four curls. So we're just gonna keep working through the hair in sections and See if we can get these curls popping. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, y'all, this is the finished look. Let me tell you something. Wait, wait, wait. I don't think wearing this wig straight does it justice because the curls, wait. I'm gonna get up, let's get up close so you can see what the hairline is giving. Baby, I was a little bit nervous, but I don't know why because look at her. Like she's giving everything that we need along with the makeup. Like the whole look is just, it's giving neutrals. I know it's Christmas time, but neutrals is, is Christmassy. <laughs> look at the hairline. Well, that side's not my favorite because that's why I applied it too far. But this side, oh girl, I should've took that sticky stuff off. Who gonna see it? Who gonna check me? Nobody. Wow, that eyeshadow is not blended. Wow. But the makeup is cute. But this is how it looks in the back. And yes, it's still texture up in the center, girl. I can't see the back of my head. So it's gonna be a little texturized back there, but I'm okay with that. Oh my God, I'm just in love with it. I'm in love with the color. I'm in love with the texture. I'm in love with everything about it. And it looks so stunning, so beautiful. And this is the type of wig I've been looking for. Shout out to Rodney The Voice. This is the type of carry-on I'm looking for right here. This is the carry-on I want to give y'all. Pros and cons about this wig. So pros, obviously, is everything as you see. The color is done really well. Like, it looks pretty blended to me, especially in the roots, girl. That's when they, that's the telltale sign. Like, you can't tell up front. I don't remember the, I can't really see in the back. But in the front, the highlights are blended. That texture of the hair is super duper soft. You don't need to bleach the knots. I'm just extra and I did it. Um, I think that's basically it for all my pros. And you can wear the wig glueless if your head size qualifies. Now, for the cons, I think the lace was a little bit more, it seemed like it was a little bit more textured. Like you can kind of see it it's not like super super duper soft like melty lace now i know how to blend my lace so that's not an issue for me but girl that's it everything else i love about this wig everything else i love i love it obviously kinky i told y'all already before this is not kinky straight wigs don't hold the curls so the curls i have now turn into waves some of it is straight because that's just how kinky straight hair rolls. So you need to use rollers or something like that to make sure you keep these curls. Cause baby, by the time I walk out into this kitchen, the curls are gonna be done. So I think that's everything. Y'all tell me what you think about this wig down below. I wanna say thank you again to Sunburn Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. I will leave a link for this unit with all of the specs and all of that stuff down below. But you know, I also will leave a coupon code because I don't like to leave the girls hanging with just spending extra money. This is doing a lot. Anyways, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.